The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info Holmberg's morning sickness, morning sickness. Bah, 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 bah. that's the Foo Fighters right there the prick they got uh, honored last night at the VMAs and Billie Eilish brought them up and did the uh, the icon award the uh, I don't know what they call it things the, what is that just an icon award isn't it or is that what they still call it I don't know anyway they got it they did a few songs did their thing Think Kurt Loder, which was hilarious. And Tabitha, what's her name? All the Soren. Old, all, Tabitha Soren yeah. and all the old MTV people. That's pretty good. But uh, the food there. Uh, in about uh, 15 minutes, we're going to start De Niro Double Down. It's, uh, the guys in the, who created this didn't think. But it's funny because Larry likes Double Down, Chief Double Down, always has. Uh, we've agreed to limit our use of Chief Double Down due to some people that didn't like it. Again, chase the money. Majority of people love Chief Double Down. Occasionally he pops up. He can't be as present as he used to be. Uh, but De Niro's fine. But it's De Niro Double Down. We call it De Niro Double Down because we don't know any difference. So when I saw it, and they're like, only at De Niro Double Down, I'm like, why? <laughs> did, and I even think we spelled it wrong. I think, I think Mark did that first time. De Niro, D E N I R O. I'm all for it. I think I think it's right because I, I saw the is liner it? on Friday, but I think you're right. The one, one Thursday, of the first I'm like, this is Robert De Niro. It game. is. It's De- it was De- okay. They they fixed yeah, it. It says De Niro it. double down. There. <laughs> I don't know. Thursday it was my thing. Huh? I tell you, Brett, get your people on board. <laughs> you uh, and also, in mind yet? huh? You have a word in mind? I'll yet? write it down and hand it to you okay. while Brady does uh, the report. But before we get to that. Uh, Craig, who is a Chiefs fan, has emailed and said, uh, first off, John, please go f- yourself. Ooh, You're the only wow. one saying that the Kansas City Chiefs have to stop that noise. <laughs> Two, the NFL is dealing with a fan base of mostly right-wingers who do not give a flying F about cancel culture. Force us to change the name? Fine. We'll still do the chop because social justice can die in a nuclear blast and soon. Wow. I agree. Like, listen to what I said, though, Craig. It's never going to be about the fan base and the majority. It's about the small amount of people that tell the Chiefs they're racist. You can do that tomahawk chop, but if it starts costing your team five yards on the field, it's going to start hurting. And you know what I just thought about? The Chiefs are like a Super Bowl contender. I would like to start my formal campaign to say that all Chiefs fans are racist and that this needs to end. (laughs) What am I thinking? Of course I should try to get involved in this. I want to be the one who steps up and says, I cannot believe for the sake of the almost completed genocide of Native Americans in this country. We still have a bunch of idiots in the Midwest doing that terrible, terrible chant during Chiefs games. The Chiefs should be ashamed of themselves and should change their names immediately and have press conferences all week long about this and take their eye off the ball completely with practice, I think. If they were decent people, they would want that. I don't really believe it, but I hadn't even thought of this. This will distract Chiefs. And having to have Andy Reid's going to get asked questions about it all the time. They'll drop a couple of gimme games just because they got to deal with this controversy so much. So let me be the first to say, I stand for the equality of all people, except Kansas City Chiefs fans who thinks it's okay to wear those terrible arrowhead hats and that incredibly insensitive chant they do during the game, meanwhile calling each other Chief with their lily white skin. The Chiefs must be stopped. This is how you end good things, Brady. <laughs> Last thing I am is woke, but I'm not stupid either. If I can get the Chiefs distracted, that'd be great. Somebody else kind of bouncing. That would be pretty great. Don't you have a problem with it, Brady, as well? I do. Good. Yeah. Huge. We all need to stand to You? 
Brett? I don't care. Ah, you got to get on care. board my thing. No you, way, you don't, don't hate that your team doesn't matter enough. That's right. <laughs> Wait for hockey well, season. Let me ask you this. You, you loved every second of watching the Cleveland Indians flounder around trying to fix their name and all this stuff? No, I was against that. Of course you're I against loved, it. Yeah. But you liked it because it's your rival. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they were 100%. embarrassed. Oh, yeah. They couldn't focus on baseball. That's what I'm doing. I really don't care. <laughs> That's kind of how I am with it, but whatever. If it means the Chiefs are distracted, then damn it all, let me be. I'll put my name on this crusade. John Holmberg's crusade against the racist Chiefs. <laughs> Who's with me, Indians? I mean, Guardians? What, are, what do they call them now? <laughs> guardians. They're still the Indians, technically. We're still good. What do you mean technically? Well, technically, that, they're, they're, yeah, this year. It's not offensive. It's not offensive. It's not offensive until the end of the March season. Of next gotcha. year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> then after that, you're once, done. Oh, yeah. once the baseball, like November, uh, the uh, Guardian line. Well, yeah, but the manager <laughs> meetings they usually start. They have the winter league meetings. Once that starts, then yeah. it's offensive. Now, not so much. Still the Indians. What's really funny is you can still say it, like in <laughs> highlights. And the White Sox taking on the Indians tonight. But in a week, or in a month or so, it's going to be like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> We're idiots. I can't wait. But, you know, not as big of idiots as Kansas City Chiefs fans with that incredible racist taunt. <laughs> they should be ashamed of themselves, and they should look deep into the mirror and say, we need to make some changes around here, starting with that Patrick Mahomes. Uh, he's the biggest racist of all, I think, for supporting it. Any decent person wouldn't play under those circumstances. <laughs> Take a stand, Patrick. Uh, it's time for the Brady Report. Football is back. Start your week off right. Catch the game at Hooters tonight. Get that Baltimore team against them Las Vegas Raiders. Try a hootastic football special. That's what they wrote. I didn't say that. <laughs> a Big Daddy Bud Light and 10 bone-in wings for fifteen ninety nine. That's hootastic, Brady. Uh, Hooters and Bud Light bring you the Brady Report. Brady Report. Good Monday morning to you, Phoenix. Hello. Happy National Peanut Day. Ooh, I like peanuts. Enjoy all the people puffing up because of allergies. Do it anyway. Kids have some peanuts. Yeah, kids, by all means, test it out. Let's see where you stand. <laughs> Small doses first. Shouldn't you know if you're allergic to peanuts? And the by only now, way to know is to rub up against should. a few. Same with prostitutes. Yeah, Joey couldn't be in the air. If, if Joey was couldn't be around in the room. What happened? Uh oh, we don't have allergies. We're losing oh, oh, allergies. Not, oh, okay, oh, good. Oh, I he was jumping out the window. No. That was your allergies? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a peanut allergy either. I can eat those things. Just the mention of it? He turned into Simone Biles for a second. (laughs) (laughs) The back bend you just did was ridiculous. What what, are your allergies? Just weigh the the back of your head down. Because of drainage. Oh, oh, you were swallowing. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. Brett was swallowing. Well, it's that or you want to bring a spitter in here and just start chawing out. No, no, no. no. See? You guzzle those oysters. (laughs) 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 Don't you dare spit those oysters out. Make sure it's a dark cup if you bring something. Oh, God. Yeah, make it an opaque glass. In fact, Brett, you're free to roam about the building. (laughs) (laughs) That move was to swallow. Yeah. Deep throat. Deep throat. That's because it's disgusting. It's like, all right, here we go. It made such a spectacle of it. Now we all feel it. (laughs) You're like a Kansas City Chiefs fan. You sickened me and need to be stopped. (laughs) Oh, God. That was tough to watch. Uh, That was peripherally hard to watch. Imagine (laughs) if I was looking right at it. Now I'd be... I, mean, I saw the it. tail end with his eyes watering. Yeah. <laughs> his eyes rolled back and back. It's like back exorcist in his type stuff. <laughs> he got allergies. 140. Oh, so bad. This All year's right. Ig Nobel Prize winners were announced. And now I don't know the results of the researching, but yep. these are the ones that uh, they get awards <laughs> for the most ridiculous advances in science. Right. Um, one was uh, researchers who used genetic analysis to compare the different species of bacteria found on discarded chewing gum recovered from paved surfaces huh. in various countries. Oh, it, like which one's the most gross mouth? Yeah. yeah. I tell you, Payson's going to come close on that one. Researchers who <laughs> tested the hypothesis that humans evolved beards to protect themselves from punches to the face. Well, there is a rule in boxing, or used to be, it's not so much anymore, that if you had a beard, you had to shave it down to a skin level because it will keep your skin from cutting, which is crazy. Like, mm. your beard, like you, you won't cut as easily with a beard as you would with uh, – and it does, through technology, they've, this is the worst study ever, they've found that a beard uh, diminishes the impact of a punch just a little. What? Yeah, just a little bit. Your skin won't split nearly as easily through your beard. As it would otherwise. And you don't get cut too often in that area. But, I mean, you can get your 
your lip busted open still, but it, it protects. It's like it's like roots on the side of a hill. It keeps it from sliding. Same with your skin. A study that suggests the obesity obesity of a country's politicians can be used to indicate the level of corruption in the country. Whew. We had a big boy in there for a while. A study called a new method of cockroach control on submarines. I didn't know that was a problem. I was thinking about imagine, uh, you know, I don't know if you could spray because you're in that enclosed area. The filtration might be tougher, but. Yeah. You know what you're sucking in on a day-to-day outside? Pansy ass. (laughs) Can't handle a little. He's these poor bug guys running around spraying this stuff every single day. And we're like, I don't know if I could breathe it in. Stop it. We'll end it with the most earth-shattering research. A study demonstrating the sexual orgasms are as effective as decongestant medicines in improving nasal breathing. Go give yourself a tug. Excuse me. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's gonna, gonna shoot oysters. Stall number two is mine. You've got oysters all over the place. <laughs> Occupado. Which will be today's word. Oyster. In honor of the thing Brett just swallowed. <laughs> Oyster. 97936 starts at 8 o'clock. Dinero double down. You win $1,000. This is how it is. You win 1000 bucks in the 8 o'clock hour. How long do we give them? The full hour? Full hour. Full hour to nice. spell one word? Yeah. And if all you guys texting it right now, you're going to be mad. Yeah, it's going to bounce gonna get back. To, yep. I'm giving you a little head start, but it's 1000 bucks, 20 grand in 20 days to celebrate our 20 years on the air here. Modelo Especial Learner and Row. Keyword uh, text is OYSTER. 97936. Plus, you have a chance to double down and win another 1000 joining us. Uh, on Friday at the location, we will tell you. I think it's a Circle K, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So we'll tell you about a Circle K. You can go win a thousand bucks later in the week too. So every day, thousand bucks at eight o'clock. Every Friday, another thousand. Golden, I tell you. A travel app called Hopper uses an algorithm that looks at travel trends and prices from other years, and found that today is the best day to buy your tickets for the holidays. For airlines. Yep. Okay. They're saying um, this week is good, especially for Christmas, but tickets might be slightly more expensive by Friday. All right. Well, if you've got travel plans. The most expensive days to fly, Sunday after Thanksgiving and December 26th, which falls on a Sunday this year. I just, I, just you saying it gives me anxiety. I Flying at the holidays? No interest in leaving yeah. my home. At all, most of the time, let alone the holidays. You've never even gone up to Vegas? I thought you went up to Vegas. I went there for a New Year's a couple of times. It's awful. But now there's a new service that alleviates some of that. J-S-X. K-J-S. X. <laughs> it's the best thing in this city that ends in it. <laughs> <laughs> the peak age for having fun, according to this research. Oh, God. Well, Don't ask Gilbert moms. 2,000 people were polled. The average answer was 24 years old. For having fun? Because you got no responsibility still. Age for having fun. Yeah. Because you don't care. You got nothing to lose. (laughs) You haven't started a job that you care to lose. If you get fired, you can just go to another Applebee's. Yep. 40% of the people said the older you get, the harder it is to find time to get together with friends and socialize. And 75% said it's important to plan stuff ahead of time so you'll have something to look forward to. I heard a woman gurgle out the phrase, 50 is the new 30. No, it's not. Have you seen yourself naked 50? At the villages. It's not. I I didn't go to say all 30-year-olds look good naked, but all 50-year-olds don't. Expired. (laughs) There's a reason why. Every time Kate Beckinsale is in a bikini, they say she looks good for 50. Because none of us do. Nobody looks good at 50. You can only look good for 50. Right? Yeah. People say, you're 50? Wow, you look good for 50. I'll never hear those words. I look good for 50, and I'm not 50 yet. (laughs) I look good for 60, but barely. (laughs) Uh, Calling shenanigans on this, potentially. There's this girl that got uh, phone scammed. It, she lives in Utah, and someone called her. It was a. Uh, she was an out of work model to begin with. Her name's mm-hmm. Megan Randolph. 
She claims a scammer convinced her to shave her own head and eyebrows. They said they were from a Redken care product sure. company and said they will pay several hundred dollars to film herself doing an at-home haircut. The hair that she cut off, and they go, well, we'll pay you more uh, the if you do the eyebrows. And then this they said a couple of thousand if you uh, shave your head. This is an evil ex-boyfriend or a couple wow. of really clever teenagers. She claims she bought into it and did it. Yeah. And never got her money. Here she's she gotta is. She's got to be smoking uh, hot. She's got to be, she's gotta be she smoking before. hot. She's out of so work. Sexy. Nope, not really. No? Well, she's an out-of-work model. Yeah. And to be a model today, all it means now is Now she'll an, definitely be out of work for a while. <laughs> you have an Instagram page. <laughs> you're, right. You're, yeah, you can't so, be an unemployed model yeah. right now. It can't yeah. be a thing. Well, she's now she's, you know, out. so you could say she's trying to go viral with this. Well, she, she did, did this. There's no scam. This is Jesse Smollett. Yep. This is a Jesse Smollett move. She never got scammed. Nobody did this. She shaved her head and eyebrows and is getting extra attention for this. I, I call this shenanigans on that right now. She looks good for a film. <laughs> and she's only like 28. Yep. This bro thought Fred's, it would be. Fred's the most evil, <laughs> and I can't get enough of it. This bro thought it would be fun to build a Tinder a tender profile for his girlfriend just to see how many guys would think she was hot. Uh-oh. And she matched with 1,300 other dudes in the first hour. <laughs> wow. Not the results you want, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, he talked about it on Facebook because it made him appreciate her more. Oh, oh come on. He's Trevor Bauer. If you're, <laughs> if you're feeling like you can do better than your girlfriend, create a Tinder, Tinder profile and see how many other men would be stoked if they were in your shoes. So he joked immediately and said he's going to draw her a bath, cook her dinner. Oh my Fold God. her laundry, yes, rubber feet. Fuzzy. Oh, yeah. Another small A. Give me a t- yeah, How did that make the news? Because it goes, uh, it's just uh, the like, viral. I'll be interested in, in the world where. This one might be more interesting. It's the last relationship uh, news story. It's uh, two young people before they started dating, started hitting it off, and about two months into it, they said, that's starting to get serious. All right. Well, let's put some uh, parameters together. So she, the girl, penned a 17-page relationship contract. Okay. And the dude signed it. What's in um, it? Uh, let's see. It better be good. This is what Trevor Bauer should have done. The girlfriend. Some paperwork. Yep, this they is the girl making him other, sign. That's and they right. agreed that they um, keep in shape, work out a minimum of five times a week. Is there a weight clause? Uh, Genius. Not sure if there was on that one. No weight clause. Just keep yourself in good shape. Um, she wanted, uh, how she phrased it, as some type of affection shown at least twice a month. Demanded, uh, And then she also Too demanded subjective. he pay for the dates. Um, he buys her flowers twice a month. Here's the... That's real meaningful when you're yeah. forced to yeah, do it. Exactly. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. Nailed it, Brett. This yeah. dude looks like a real She's a risk management and insurance luck. student. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There. He's got some serious, I'll take it, whatever you want, baby. Is there a picture of her, too? She's cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. But she looks yeah, in yeah, control yeah, of the situation. She's yeah. smiling too hard, and he's definitely hiding how gay he is. Oh, he's a twink. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't. He is. Wait to see that one. He hasn't told her yet. <laughs> He's still hiding it from his Catholic parents. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no question that this girl has made a deal with uh, someone that's going to leave for things. She's she not even that hot. She didn't see this coming. Cops and firefighters re- responded to a call in St. Augustine Beach, Florida, about a 39-year-old woman who was acting strange. When they showed up, seen, she claimed she needed CPR, even though she was fully conscious and, and running around. So they started walking to walking her to the ambulance. She broke away, ran off, then decided not to they decided not to chase her because there wasn't any crime being committed, at least not yet. <laughs> she ended up stealing the truck. Oh my. Realized uh when they realized she jumped into the driver's seat of the fire engine, they yanked her out, asked her uh you know if she was on anything. She told them that she'd been drinking the elixir of life. <laughs> and this magical potion that makes you immortal. Whoa. Well, she's now facing felony charge for Grand Theft Auto. 
but no one found out what the elixir of life was. But if it's from Harry Potter. My mom knows where it is. It's Sprouts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Next to the COVID killer? Next to the stuff yeah. that COVID. She's still got still never Nobel Prize. It's the one bottle that they have plenty of. Man. Oh, okay. All right. Still shocked. Yeah. Next to the ivermectin and the... <laughs> This is pretty amazing. Um, a coffin was accidentally discovered in a pond at a golf course in Lincolnshire, England. Accidental, yeah, Brett? Accidentally. Is that how that happens? Uh, what an accident. You know, I'm, I was walking through the lake, and I tripped over what hit, I thought was just ball. a rock. Uh, you know, turns, turns out, out. <laughs> it was a coffin, and I knew the guy. Benny Two-Tone. It was a wooden <laughs> coffin. <laughs> what a coincidence. Now, archaeologists have revealed it's from... Uh, an old Bronze Age relic. It That's what I said. Four thousand year old man. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Buried <laughs> with an axe. It ain't Hoffa. That guy's like four thousand. <laughs> Look at him. He's wearing pinstripes. The coffin was made from hollowing out an oak tree. Wow. And a and, Tommy gun. And the uh, <laughs> axe is pretty well preserved. I saw a picture of it, but he's a, a man of know. importance. He was also a time traveler. He had a picture of Marlon Brand. <laughs> People are excited about this new food product. Well, Brandon. Maine lobster <laughs> butter. Now you can butter your food and it tastes like lobster. Can I see that story, please? Uh-oh. Here we go. No, I just want to see if it actually starts with people are excited about this or if Brady's ad lib. <laughs> Might have been a little ad. Yeah, it was an ad. That's what I'm going with. Yep. People. Millions quote, unquote, of people. People are super excited about this next bit of info. And his name is are David Brady Boat. Yeah, because the, the people in question are the ones telling us about it. 27-year-old Simon. You use, are you going to use that butter exclusively? Um, I might try it. I pulled a Brady this weekend. Want to hear a good one? So I was at Hillstone, and they have this focaccia bread. Yeah. Colin Orton's big, three big pieces of focaccia bread. that has got olives. I hate olives. Olives are akin to... Coconut, black licorice, and strawberries. Green know. and black, or just all olives? Uh, yeah, pretty much done with olives. Okay. I used to like black olives. Something changed. But they got the olives on there, and they're in oil, and they're sitting there on this little triangle thing, and then the bread. And so Colin hammers the bread. I don't want any of it. Two adjacent to two olives. Like the smell could have gotten on some of the bread. I'm out. So I don't want any of it. But I look over, and I'm like, hey, I'll eat that cheese. It's a little wedge of cheese. I'm like, oh, I don't want that. And I'm like, okay. So he pushes the thing over. And I take a bite, and I'm like, oh, it's the softest cheese I've ever had in my life. Ooh, it's got a good salty kick. Take another bite. Mm, mm, this is butter. <laughs> it's a big a chunk nice of butter. A nice triangle wedge. A big wad of butter. Good butter. And that is going to bet in my head that it was going to be delicious soft cheese, and it was, but it was a big wad of butter. Oh, man. 27-year-old Simon <laughs> Robinson. He uh, lives in England, and he went to the McDonald's there, ordered a bacon roll. When he opened it up, took the uh, piece of English muffin off, it looks like, on top of it. There's a pig nipple on the bacon. What? Oh. Is that where the they picture. come from? Yeah, from the belly area. They didn't, they didn't trim it quite enough. A rep said we oh. use bacon in all of our bacon rolls, and due to the location that this was taken from. We're confident that the customer is mistaken in his claim. I don't know. I saw a picture of it. That's a pig nipple. It looks like a pig nipple. What are we looking at? There's the picture. Right. Where is it? There. I don't know oh, what a pig center. nipple looks like. And I think women hate when you call them that. So guys, stop it. <laughs> right there in the center piece, the center of the bacon right there. Oh. Huh. That area. I've probably if eaten a hundred of those. It I, is not... A nipple. It is a wart, a pig wart. Ah, all right, whatever. Oh, that makes it no, better? Yeah. <laughs> Yum. This so pig was still... a pig. She had wart. <laughs> but who knows? They'll analyze it. And oh, well. They'll get a breakfast roll well, for free. We draw the line at nipples even though we're eating the flesh of another right. creature? There's not much difference. Yeah, it's it's very... kind of There's no food. difference. Is that ketchup and ham on bread? Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, what kind of hill jack place Why is in the world are we upset about that? Oh, by the way, the word is oyster. 97936. Singular. Oyster. It's what Brett's swallowing all morning with his allergies. Right. Oyster. 97936. Got an hour to do it. Yeah, we eat. We, there's a moment. Oh, I can't possibly eat the nipple. Yeah. It's bacon. You shave down all the skin and you deep fry it. Yeah. And all of a How sudden. How many hot dogs you, like you the, have this, right. this year? People like the, you know, it's a little different, but it's similar. Uh, they like the crust, like on pulled pork sometimes. Mm-hmm. Some of that fat and stuff will have. Nipples on it? Basically skin. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. 
chicken skin. You have to kind of admit what you're eating, don't yeah. you? It's an animal. They're, they have nipples and skin and meat and bones. and Too real, John. Too real. It is too real. We don't need to be reminded that it once gave life to a young pig. <laughs> and it sustained it through the milk of that teat you're eating. Deep fried. Um, um, <laughs> that is good teat. Uh, I'll suffer. It's better than an impossible burger or anything like <laughs> that's that. Exa- I need a plate yeah. of nipples. Raw. Rare pig Absolutely. nipples. Plate of nipples. Band eat. name? Plate of nipples. Pretty good <laughs> raw nipples. Edible raw nipples is not bad. But yeah, I would eat a while. Like just, I'd shave it off myself with one of those eyebrow or those uh, things those ladies used to put on fake eyelashes. Just carve a nipple off with one of those curved things. Oh. Oh, eat it right man. in front of you before I'd eat an Impossible Burger. Let's get to some radio videos. First one's a golfing video. Guy's on the green trying to sink his putt, and his buddy decides to horn him. Interrupt him, distract him with the golf cart. Oh, he's going to hit him. And, oh, oh, Jesus. Man. Donald Money yeah. just he missed from the putt. behind. <laughs> Friends that is six. Not funny. No. Got hit by a car. Oh, oh Jesus. Can, That'd be me filming. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Probably snapped That'd be me laughing next to you filming. Too. I'd certainly find it funny. I would discourage this behavior. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not good. That guy could have broken both legs. Had he gone forward, that would have been awful. Crazy. As whole. As Brady often screams on a golf course when the drunks get going. <laughs> <Enough>! <laughs> One time, a guy named Jeff Stapley, may he rest in peace, oh, was acting. Gone? Oh, yeah, he died. Uh-oh. He acting uh, a bit Horrible crazy accident. on the uh, golf cart situation, and Brady had had it. <laughs> Top of his lungs. Enough! <laughs> We're going to get kicked off. He was more worried about getting kicked off than dying, but... There was a bigger... Oh, was it a good course? No. Oh. Okay. Still can't behave like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was just doing donuts and like, he was jumping it. He had a couple, he, well, the, and then <laughs> a couple of close calls. Well, he was almost hitting a lot, yeah. but he tried to leap it. <laughs> oh. I left in the ninth hole of that. I got this story secondhand. I was there for the first nine. And he wasn't doing that? Yes, he was. Oh. <laughs> By the ninth hole, he hit a ramp. I, I mean, gunned it and found this like, berm and got the cart off the ground a little bit and thomas wells the scotsman ah steeply you're a god no one else could do it you do and he's in love with the falling in love with this driver that's the greatest jump any golf cart's ever performed and steeply's like watch this and he's doing figure eights around brady and he was going a thousand miles an hour in that thing all day i left in the ninth and then later thomas called me oh brady lost his mind steeply nearly killed him with the cart and Brady, top of his lungs, as loud as you can scream, like those old movies when a god would scream and it would echo for hours on end. Enough! <laughs> but he was worried for his life. Next one went uh, viral over the weekend. Um, the it's shoot? the cat hanging out. Um, no, I think it's in Miami. I think we all saw that one, didn't oh. Yeah, we all saw that one. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Good. I'm glad you went. For, you'll love this. This is the drum major from Ohio State. Does he fall? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Coming out. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that's a metaphor for the rest of the day. <laughs> Second year drum major. The drum major eight for Ohio State. I immediately uh, texted this to the that's drum major that's great. living in my house right now. Yeah. I said, don't ever be this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only place in all of the USA where drum majors are celebrities and not dorks. <laughs> oh, man. They do that high-stepping thing. Oh, they lose their minds. When that dude, it, when I was at the Starts Ohio State Michigan, the he runs out there and I'm like, who's this little dork? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> that's the Ohio State marching band drum major. I'm like, it's a man in a, in a, in a fed in a baton watch what he does and then he does this insanely erotic gay backpack <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. and any i'm telling you it's the gayest thing you've ever seen and the crowd Ooh. is impressive though the crowd of of wealthy uh republican ohio <laughs> state fans all whipped up into a frenzy while this dude just bends slowly back and touches that feather on his hat to the ground and i mean it is full on you could take him in a, in a gay porn, he's he's holy everywhere. Like any direction, he's available. And he taps that thing on the grass. The place goes nuts. And then he starts twirling his baton and dancing around. I'm like, this is the single most homoerotic <laughs> moment in sports history. Now they come out and they do Script Ohio. I'm looking around. People are crying. 
like, you right. guys have never You're seen your name Brady spelled out material. before? They I'm like, can still spell. And I wanted to say it, but it was all white people. I'm like, you've never seen any of the like the black colleges bands? They, they spell words bigger than Ohio. <laughs> and they do it with style. Never seen it. <laughs> yeah, they, and they do it with like... They come up playing that goddamn hang on Sloopy, and then they go into Ohio. Screw up to Ohio. Looking over, Brady's got a frozen tear because it's November. <laughs> <laughs> that gets me every year. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Hey, what was with the gay guy showing everybody his, his, his butthole up in the air like that? That's the major. You, you got no sense of tradition. Enough. This next one is a wasp dismantling a roach. And watch as he brings it over towards the gutter real quick. It happens really quick. Well, the roach is on his back, so yeah. first off, unfair. Right. Now watch what the wasp does. He'll yank a leg wasp off here. Gutter. Oh, man, he's going, going to town. There's leg. one leg. Looks like insect Jeez. oral. And takes him against oh, the wall. Oh, he's just piecing him. Back leg <laughs> oh, and watch it, watch brutal. it. Brutal. Doesn't he have a stinger to you? Oh, the lizard what was that? takes them both. Oh, lizard ate them both. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. See that. <laughs> it looks like a penis. The lizard is a bino white wiener. Yeah, and he. That's a good it's fight. An upside down grab. I Who's think. filming this? Who's Brady? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but this would be the best thing he's filmed for that yeah, uh, Boss be. KUPD. Did you put it on Boss KUPD? Not yet. Not yet. Well, it's too late now. Wow. Upside oh, down. Nice That's snack. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Great cat. Next one. Let's get a quick one. <laughs> Brett, you'll like this one. Right. It's a. Uh, Drunk uh, girls getting hurt. Oh, yes. One. Oh. Mini bike, Megan. Okay. She's on a little. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh! She rode her little. Mafia. What do they call those? It's not a moped. It's a. It's a mini bike. It's a mini bike. Yeah. yeah. She makes it 18 feet before she throws it into the van across from her. <laughs> Is that Bill's Mafia? It looks like no, a Bill's it, parking lot. It, it, it could oh, be. It's like a van oh, show. There are, there's first, only vans too. It's there. a 70s conversion van They're show. They're setting up a it's farmer's all, market. Are they? <laughs> no, oh, it's yeah. all vans, That's Brady. a van That's show. A van oh, show. yeah, it is, but that put merch out. Not and anymore. They're not, yeah. But they're not good-looking vans. No. Neither she. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, her face goes into that Big table. Iron Maiden patch in her jean jacket. God. <laughs> That mama has a certain medicine she's got to rub on parts of her body. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. The Every last one, day. this uh, nature photographer wanted to let you know that when you release some grizzly bears in the wild, it's not always, uh, oh, they're running free. No, it's terrible. He they're set busy. his camera and tripod up. Well, you're they're pulling gonna them open out of the a, door. <laughs> a pod. Yep, and letting them run free. And he's awake. This will be good. All right. That's not On the bear trap, that's not what I want to see for a warning. What? Door may not <laughs> door may open without warning. <laughs> oh yeah, well we saw them there start opening garages Friday. All right, let's see what this hard way. Be mindful where you put your camera and tripod when filming a grizzly being returned to the wild. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that thing was pissed. And he's putting that camera. Just came out. Oh. First thing he saw was gonna die. Be mindful where you put your I don't care who it is. Yeah, he's got it. It's Paul Sir on a bad day. Oh, yeah. Yes. You open his door. Oh, man. A little lighter than Paul, but. <laughs> that dude had it in his brain. The second he had daylight, he was going to kill the first thing he saw. I want to watch that again. When filming a grizzly being returned to the wild. He is wide awake. Oh, <laughs> you imagine that hit? Oh. Yes. I can wow. on so many people. Oh, my God. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, the first thing he saw standing on two legs, and that was a tripod. He was going to eat it. That's a great video. I like that. All right. Great stuff. Oyster is the word. Yeah. 97936. Not the same concept. Singular. Dinero double down. <laughs> Racist in so many ways. I mean, it's Italian, it's Spanish, it's and after Native you American. Win, wow. it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can, uh, yeah. Thanks, Chief. And at nine o'clock, we'll draw your name and give you a call. <laughs> we didn't come up with this contest either, but it's in honor of our twenty years on the air. So, what are you going to do? Again, those chiefs must be stopped. Uh, and there goes your Brady Report, brought to you by Hooters and Bud Light. Arizona's most powerful, powerful rock radio station. And yet,
You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.